Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com. Today we're going to show you how to load a custom ROM on the HTC Aria. If you're not already there, head over to TheUnlocker.com, spell like that in the address bar, and search for how to load a custom ROM on the HTC Aria procedure. Okay, before we begin, you must have done our how to root the HTC Aria unrevoked method procedure. Uh, if you haven't done so, click on the link there in the before you begin section. It'll take you to the how to root procedure. Do that. Once you're done there, you can come back to here and continue. Okay, now you need to choose a ROM that you want to flash. So you can click on our HC Area ROM section here. It'll open in a new window, and you can scroll down and choose one of the ROMs. We'll do the Intruder ROM. It'll take you to the Developers page when you click on the link. Scroll down, and somewhere in this first post, there'll be a download link. We're going to click on that and download that file and save it to our computer. Okay, once you've downloaded the ROM that you want, we're going to plug the phone in via USB. I'm going to select disk drive so that we can save stuff to the SD card. Okay, once we've got the ROM that we want, we're going to take the ROM.zip file, do not extract it, and we're going to put it onto the SD card. Not inside any of the folders, just on the SD card itself like that. So that shows up with the path in removable disk. And that's it, wait for that to transfer. Okay, once we transfer those files over to the SD card, we're gonna turn off the phone. Then we're gonna turn the phone back on by holding down volume down and power. So we get to HBoot mode. It's gonna look for the file and it's not gonna find. We're gonna push down on the volume button to, and uh, power to select recovery. And then once the phone boots into recovery, we're gonna scroll down to wipe, then wipe data factory reset. Then wipe Dalvit cache. Then we're going to go to flash zip from SD card. Select Cyanogen's ROM. Press power to confirm. And wait for it to finish flashing. Once it's installed that, you can now hit reboot system now and wait for the phone to reboot. Okay, once the phone boots up, you're on your custom ROM. You can go through your normal setup process. Um, it's always recommended to skip through the, uh, the setup process initially and then set up your Google account and everything later. Um, but that's it. Once you've done that, you're on your custom ROM and you're good to go. Enjoy.